my name is Jessica. I'm, uh, the furry family coach is my page on uh, Facebook and I'm a force free positive methods dog trainer. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, resource guarding, specifically food aggression. So any type of resource guarding, whether it is food aggression, whether it's, uh, so it's over food, treats, if it's over a toy, if it's over a specific person or a place, if it's over a mate, um, any type of aggression really is founded in insecurity. So the number one thing we can do, well, okay, first, let me not get ahead of myself. Um, before I get into all of that, if you have a dog that has some sort of food aggression issues, post in the comments. I would love to know. Let me know exactly what's going on. Um, I want to know like your dog's name, um, their breed, how old they are, how many other animals are in the home, dogs, cats, guinea pigs, birds, whatever may be going on. And you know exactly what's going on. What kind of resource guarding do they have? Um, specifically, if it is a food aggression, what's going on and what have you done uh, so far to try to combat this insecurity in your dog. So go ahead and post that in the comments. I'd love to hear about it and talk to you about it so we can help you, you and your dog overcome these insecurities and their food aggression. Um, so real quick, um, while we're here, we're talking about food aggression, but I am so excited to provide to you access to my new ebook, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. What this does is gives you the entire foundation, everything I teach my in-home clients to um, live harmoniously, in peace with your dog, train your dog in a positive way, and really just all in all make you and your dog's life better. So Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. Highly recommend you grabbing a copy of it. It's everything I teach my in-home clients, the foundation for what you need to uh, learn how to train your dog, B-I-T dot L-Y slash seven steps dog training. And if somebody could type that in the comments so that um, it's easier for you guys, I can't really type into the comments while, oop, while I'm doing a live video. So let's get back to the topic at hand. We're talking about food aggression in dogs. So Food aggression, and again, any type of resource guarding, food aggression is resource guarding. So any type of resource guarding, whatever that resource may be, food, um, a mate, a place, right? A place in their home, maybe it's their crate that they're guarding, maybe it's a person that they're guarding, maybe they're um, really, really overly protective of you and they don't want anybody to come around you, um, toys, anything that they're guarding, it is all based in insecurities. And a lot of this is, um, uh, it's, it's very natural because a dog in the wild is, you know, it's, it's ingrained in them because they have, dogs have evolved from a scavenger species. Um, ooh, I can say that right, a scavenger species. So if they have first access, if they are the first ones to access some sort of resource, they get the best of that. With food, they get the most nutrients if they are the first ones to dine on um, their prey. So um, all of it is based on insecurities. So first off, the absolute worst thing you can do is be confrontational and aggressive with your dog. It's only going to further their insecurities. <clears throat> They're going to see you as competition for that resource. So it's only going to make their resource guarding worse. So many people think that if you have a dog that's food aggressive, you need to be aggressive right back and show them that you're in control and that's not the case. So let's talk about the steps you need to take since we already, now we know what not to do right? We need to help our dog overcome their insecurity so they are no longer resource guarding, so they're no longer food aggressive. 
So since we know what we don't need to do, we don't need to be aggressive back at them. That's the exact wrong thing to do. What do we need to do? We need to <clears throat> build confidence in our dog and show them that this resource is available to them. They don't have to be insecure. Um, so they don't need to be guarding it. They don't need to be the first in line. They're going to get everything they need um, so that they, they don't have to be aggressive in this way anymore. So how do we do that? It's really simple, actually, just a few simple steps. What we're gonna do is we're going to, instead of feeding them all at once, and instead of feeding them in the exact same bowl in the exact same place at the exact same time, which gives your dog the um, chance they know now I'm gonna be fed in this place at this time. So they're already getting themselves psyched up to be aggressive. They're already getting that anxiety going. They're already getting that the cortisol in their um, bodies going saying, all right, I know it's almost time. That food's gonna get put down right there in the kitchen. I've gotta be the first one to it. Nobody else can get to it. So we gotta change this, right? We have to, vary what's going on with your dog. So we need to get a new bowl uh, to feed our plate, to feed out of. We need to decide on a few new places around the house, even outside. Um, maybe, you know, if you have a fenced in backyard, that's gonna be a really good place to feed um, your dog, pick a few new places, and then vary the times that you feed your dog. So these are the first things we're gonna do. We're going to, change the pattern that your dog is in by changing what we feed them out of, where we feed them, and what time we feed them. So um, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. The next thing we're gonna do is not feed them their entire meal at once. So put a little bit in the bowl and put the bowl down. A lot of times we'll actually start with not putting anything in the bowl and put the bowl down. Then what's gonna happen is if you put nothing in the bowl and put the bowl down, your dog is gonna look right back up at you once they realize there's nothing in the bowl. If you put just a little bit in the bowl, then your dog is gonna eat that up and then look right back up at you saying, okay, I'm done with that, where's the rest? Now we're gonna add just a little bit more into the bowl. Let your dog finish that food. Then they're going to look up at you like, okay, where's more? And we're gonna do this until they've had their full serving of food. And we're gonna do this for a week, maybe two, depending on your dog, depending on how, um, re how responsive your dog is to this. Some dogs with severe food aggression may take a little bit longer, but some dogs that you know are just kind of mildly aggressive and just know this is my food are gonna respond really quick. Like within a week, we can start adding more and more of their food into their bowl on the first setting. So what's gonna happen is they're going to, and, and stay right next to them while they're eating. So what's gonna happen is they're going to start associating you with good things coming to their bowl. They're going to start, instead of saying, I need to eat all this food before anybody else gets to it, they're going to start, we're, we're retraining their brain into saying, oh, okay, you're a positive thing, you put, yummy stuff into my bowl for me to eat. So it's okay for you to be here and it's okay for you. I mean, you're, you're providing it to me. So awesome, this is wonderful. So we're just retraining their brain um, in a positive way and building their security, building their confidence in that, in, in that they're going to have enough food and get the nutrients they need and that it's okay for you to be there too because you're not you're not taking you're giving so that's the uh, one of the first things we're going to do and it may take a week it may take two weeks for you to get to the point where you can put the entire bowl of food down and stand or sit right there next to them and they're not going to growl or react because they have associated you with good things and that you provide and don't take away um, uh, and a couple other things you can do is um, randomly put treats or um, little pieces of boiled chicken into their bowl when it's not meal time. So they're like, oh, 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 and you're really even more um, reinforcing this positive mindset 
between you and their food and their bowl. So that is how we work on food aggression in dogs, um, by building their confidence, by using positive reinforcement. Um, that's really how we overcome it. So um, if you or anyone you know experiences any of this with their dog or dogs, um, share this video with them because I really think I know it can help them. And go ahead and also share my new ebook, which I'm super excited about because it, it really, it puts you in the right mindset. It gives you the entire foundation, everything you need to positively train your dog. So get your copy. And if you have any friends or family with dogs, um, get them a copy too, or encourage them to get their copy because this is everything you need to know to get started. Okay. It's going to really put you on the right path to training your dog positively. bit.ly slash seven steps dog training, seven miracle steps to train your dog. Um, and really quick before we go, I am doing these live videos to answer your questions. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, whether it's about dog behavior, whether it's about dog training, dog nutrition. Um, if you're having some issues and you don't know what you should be feeding your dog, I'll help you out. If you have um, some behavioral issues, if you have some training issues, um, maybe your dog, you're potty training and you know, you're about to pull your hair out because I've seen that a lot of times and it's okay. You're not the only one, you can get through it and I can help you through it. So leave your comments or questions below. I'd love to help you and answer those with you, for you, so that you and your dog can live um, happily ever after. Um, if you haven't already done so, please join the Train Positive group on Facebook. It is Dog Training 201 Train Positive. Um, and this is what we use in that group, in the Train Positive group. This is um, the foundation for everything, for all of our positive methods, dog training. This is the resource for that group. bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. Get your copy. It is, I mean, cost almost nothing, guys, and is going to provide you an incredible amount of knowledge and get you on the path to training your dog positively. Um, again, comments, questions, post them below. I love to answer your questions because it's my job to make sure you and your dog are living a happy and um, harmonious life together. So with that, if you, um, again, questions, comments, put them below. Give this video, video a big thumbs up. Make sure you follow or subscribe to me. That way you never miss another video. And with that, I will see you in the next video.